Ladies and gentlemen, hello! Welcome! My name, of course, is Open Potato. This is Skyhaven. That's right. Okay, today we're going to the Jetliner Age. Uh, good news, everyone. Uh, over the course of the evening, we did indeed complete the radio equipment research, which means, as far as I'm aware, we have access to a brand new building. Of course, we don't have the finances to, uh, to place it at the moment, but you know what? You know what? It's time. It's time. Let's take out a loan. 31% rate of interest. That's right. That's right. That isn't even the most egregious loan that I'm willing to take out. Uh, okay. Brand new, brand new air traffic control terminal, which should indeed mean... Hold up. That stopped. Object will start working after exiting of build mode. Cool. All right. So it works. It works. Okay, they both work, apparently, which is really, really nice. Should mean that we're able to get more uh, get more aircraft landing at the airport at the same time, uh, and on the same time slot or whatever. Either way, should work pretty darn well, uh, as far as I'm aware. Now, thank you very much to everyone who left a comment. Don't even worry about that. I, I, I wonder if I can... Uh... No, there's nothing, there's, nothing that, there's nothing that can be done about the flickering. Right, great. Uh, yeah, so the... It's fixed, kind of, a little bit. Uh, this uh, this air cargo warehouse, for some obscene reason, had become disconnected from all of the pads. I don't exactly understand why that happened, but apparently it did. Uh, and so I fixed that over the course of the evening as well. And we should, we should be set for success. Set for success, that's exactly what we're after over the course of today. Now, I, I do want to try and place uh, a, couple of, a couple of additional offices as well. The problem with placing offices, the problem with placing offices, which I could do for a fairly small amount of money. The problem with placing offices though, uh, and getting, getting more staff, is that it is rather expensive to do. Uh, it does tend to cost rather a large amount of money if I'm if I'm not playing it safe. So you know we might uh, we might try and we might try and play some more offices. I feel like that's what I should do, right? I feel like I should do that. I feel like it's definitely in my interest to to try and get as much. Uh, as much office infrastructure up and running as we possibly can. The other thing that we may want to do is is straight up just get more get more landing ramps. To be honest, I mean, it is going to cost a, a grand, but like, rotate that around. Uh, but like, maybe we just maybe we just go for it. Is this this doesn't want to connect up here? This doesn't want to connect into here. I mean, that's not necessarily a problem. I mean, it will connect over, over there, but it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to connect up here for some uh, for some reason, which is strange because it seems to work. It seems to work on this side fairly, fairly well. It just connects into the same, into the same zone. I mean, what we might want to do if that's the case, then we could get a tarmac taxiway. I mean, I don't love doing this. Let's not snip this, shall we? Fine. Uh, so yeah, we'll see if we can try and do something like that. Alright, try and do something like that. And then try and do... Yeah. Try and do something like that. Okay, so one singular tarmac ramp, I feel, is not too bad for now. Let's get the... Ah, I shouldn't get the taxiway. If I get the taxiway, then I can just... I can smell failure coming. All right. I can I can smell problems coming down the road there. Right. Let's get. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's fine for the taxiway. Uh, the the taxiways. The ramps for now. We'll get a tarmac taxiway over here. I really don't want to. I really don't want to fix that. I really don't want to build the the exit before I've placed all of the. Uh, before I've placed all of the, the ramps over here. It's also a little bit offset, which is slightly problematic, but that's not necessarily a problem. 3,300 bucks, uh, or 3,300 3, in interest repayments, that seems even a little steep for, for me. I think we'll maybe see if we can try and deal with this number of pads at this moment in time. We'll see if, uh... We'll see if we can maybe uh, maybe make it work. Also, uh, the little little uh, little indication, little purple badge in the corner. Flight is suitable for evening and nights only. Thank you very much for making me aware of uh, of that in the comments of the last video. Much appreciated. Let's get a couple of additional flights scheduled, shall we? Boom. Okay. Let's go back into 
contracts window. Uh, we should sort by average income. Average income. Yeah, now we're talking. Okay, so let's do this. Let's also see if we can negotiate, right? Let's see if we can negotiate. Outbound cargo. We, we can't do this. I mean, I want I want money. I want money. This is this is what I'm after. Turnaround time. I can negotiate turnaround time. Uh, sure. Actually, let's put it down to an hour. Let's put it down to a freaking hour. All right. Let's do that. And then an hour as well. That's that's perfect. Okay. That's excellent. So average income is is now pretty darn high. Again, I do wish that I had the the capability to, to have this automatically stuck into the schedule. But, you know, as they say, not much that I can do about that. The good news is, is that given that we have a smaller turnaround time now, we should be able to squeeze a few more flights in here. Obviously, the penalties are larger, uh, which is problematic. But at the end of the day, that's not necessarily a problem. I, I think what we're really looking to try and do is we're looking to try and phase out some of these smaller flights over here. You know, so uh, so two hundred and five, two hundred and five dollars, we we should be getting rid of for these big nine nine five. You know, one thousand, one thousand plus, one thousand plus uh, income per per flight. Really, that's that's what we're after. And then we should just be looking to try and you know, pick up all of the on-demand flights that are coming through. I'm trying to get rid of this taxiway nonsense here. There we go. Okay. You need to paint it to get rid of it. There we go. Right-click and then play. Excellent. All right. So we will try and accept pretty much every on-demand flight that comes through. Fueling is not available for this ramp. Yeah, the ramps aren't connected over there. So we know, we know that they're not connected. Uh, I'm hoping that we'll have enough cash by the end of today to perhaps get what is this two we need five more ramps we need five more ramps in order to make it work in the way that we want to make it work ground services i think are are fine i think that we've got adequate coverage now that we've reconnected our our air cargo uh, i think that we should be okay also i don't even know what research i'm doing i mean it doesn't particularly matter what research i'm doing airline did not get the services on time uh somewhat surprised somewhat surprised by that it may very well be it may very well be the passenger services that are the problem i i highly suspect the passenger services will continue to remain a, a little bit a little bit dicey not super dicey but a little bit dicey a little bit more dicey than perhaps i would uh, i would under normal circumstances permit but at the end of the day all i'm focused on is getting to the freaking jetliner age and boy oh boy oh boy we're gonna get there at uh, loads and loads of cash Loads and loads and loads of cash. I mean, it almost doesn't seem worth spending a whole bunch of money on buying new uh, buying new ramps, given that we still are being offered, frankly, almost none uh, of these on-demand flights, which I'm after. Research completed ramp service. Okay, so that was over here. An improved closed ramp service building, structure for maintenance, manufacture, assembly, storage of aircraft and parts. Cool. All right, flight dispatcher radar. Tower with radar visual oral radio range i mean under normal circumstances again i would i mean what is a normal circumstance it doesn't make any flipping sense um 199 199 points a day and an hour to research i don't think that we really want to do that it's just too far ahead of time right enforced luggage dolly let's do that let's do that so this is going to be noon tide of propellers we're going to be pushing up 1940 real soon uh i did say that i wanted to get more offices that is still the ambition i do want to speed up the pace of research but i also want to speed up the pace of earning which is very very important to me because we want to be making as much money as we possibly can be making uh there we go so i think that we've hit pretty much every single on-demand flight today don't think that we've had any issues with ground services. I don't think any any uh, any resources have been missed. I don't think that we've had any delays. Maybe one, maybe two, but that's that's about it. We're we're mostly fine at the moment. New contract types have been unlocked. I mean, any time that there's a new contract, we we probably want to consider taking it. Ramp service with garage. Yeah, that's that's what we're after. All right, back into back into hyperspeed. Looks like we're okay for fuel. Looks like we're okay for luggage as well, or cargo, I should say. So that's all very, very nice. No penalties. Everything is... Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team, as they say. 
I don't know if that's what they say these days. I don't even know if that's still something that people say. Passengers as well. Passengers seem fine. Passengers are very, very, very good. Uh, the numbers, the numbers are absolutely appropriate. Let's hop into the contract window. Sort by average income. Uh, we've got him. I mean, we've we've absolutely got him. Signing bonus. I, we've got him as well. Uh, okay, don't know where the contracts disappeared to. Absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea. Okay, alright, fine. We don't we don't need any more contracts anyway. We've already got all of the best ones. We've already got all of the best freaking contracts. It doesn't particularly matter. I, I just need more. I need more sources of revenue, to be honest. I mean, it honestly might be worth picking up some of the... Some of the worse. Some of the worse. The worser. That's right, that's a word. Some of the worser contracts, even if they, they don't pay as much on average. Because... I mean, we'd still make a little bit of money. I can pay back a loan here. I don't know what's happening, folks. This is kind of remarkable. Uh, but I'm making money. Uh, okay, let's pay that back. We'll pay back our super high interest loan. And we'll see if we can try and pay off our other super high interest loans as well. Alternatively, maybe we just invest in ourselves. Instead of instead of repaying these loans, why don't we why don't we actually do what I said I was going to do and uh, and get an office? Another office, that is. That might be worth it. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, airfield buildings will go right along to the end here. Office. We'll stick it over here. Right next to our original office. Alright, excellent. Sorry this object can't be stopped. Yeah, no, I know, but what about turning it on? <laughs> that's what I'm after, right? I'd like to turn it on. Alright, and another one. All right. I mean, really no incentive to connect up these ramps if we're not going to be offered on-demand flights. I also wish there was a way that I could just auto-accept on-demand flights. I bet you that's going to be coming. I bet you that's going to be coming. This amount of money that we're making is obscene. I guess this really speaks to the... Speaks to the reason that we have high-quality, high-volume... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. High, high quality, high volume uh, flights here. Right, so this is the one that didn't get the services that it was after. Boarding, boarding, boarding is an issue. Okay, so dismiss that. Dismiss that. Let's go to the passenger gate. Let's have a little look over here. Staying on parking. Right. So, that says to me, we need to upgrade everything here. We need to buy... We need to buy as many buses as we possibly can. Eight out of eight buses now. We should be... We should be totally fine. We should be totally fine for boarding and, uh, and deboarding. Wowzers! What the heck was this? What the heck was this? Uh... Don't understand why we immediately got offered a whole bunch of really, really, really high-value contracts. Uh, but that's excellent. I'll take that if I can. Alright, let's start up at the top. That's a, a Douglas DC-3. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's very, very cool. Uh, enforced luggage dolly 30. All right. Again, is this a boarding issue? It's a boarding issue and also a load luggage issue. That's that's real strange. Also, what the heck is that? We only service here? What are you talking about? The baggage gate only... What? Okay, I need to make sure that that's not the case. Link to all available ramps. Passenger gate, link to all available ramps. Wait, what? Were these not all... Link to all available ramps. Did they get... Did that get reset? Ah, oh, hold up. Maybe the airport can only be set to... Not the airport, the terminal. Maybe it can only be set to one. So if I link that there, will that unlink this over here? Yeah, okay, so totally will. So the early days advanced airport station... Early days advanced airport station in comparison to the early... Okay, yeah. So we basically just need to delete this building. Yeah. Okay, so we just need to... We just need to sell all these trucks. Sell these trucks. Sell all these trucks. I mean, we could relocate them. But, like, I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't particularly matter. We'll stop that facility from working. We want to be using the early days advanced station here. There is no reason not to use it. Uh, we should be only using that. And then... Let's get that. Excellent. Okay, so that was most of the high-value planes that we had coming through here. We, uh, we, we took advantage of them, and we got the, we got the, uh, we got the cash for that. Concrete stand, concrete runway. I mean, maybe, maybe, 
Yes, good. But, I mean, I feel like we just got Tarmac. And Tarmac's not really made that much of a difference. Uh, sorting zones. Cargo transfer boost. Boarding assistant. Maybe electrified machines. I feel like boosts are just lame, right? Luggage transfer boosts. I, I guess we should maybe do it. Fuel pump boosts. Big toolkits. Luggage weight and size limitation. Yeah, boosts are lame. I, I'm gonna call it. Boosts are, are freaking lame. You know what? Let's go and get some flight radar. Airplanes flying at over a thousand kilometers an hour need to be separated by over only five, kilo uh, five kilometers? I don't know. It's difficult to kind of read the text <laughs> to see what's going on. But that looks good. That looks like what we're interested in. We, we are interested in increasing the... Or decreasing the active operations interval, I should say. That's that's what we're after. Yeah, very, very happy with that. Uh, we missed a service, I suspect. That's cargo. Huh. Wait, what? Wait, what? Air cargo. Link to all ramps. Advanced air cargo. Can you not be... So we can't have multiple... We can't have multiple ramps linked at one time? Right. Okay, I didn't think that this was a problem beforehand. Um, but okay. So here's what we're gonna do. This facility is gonna be connected to all of those places over there. The fact that it's flickering ain't exactly ideal. Link to ramps manually, yeah. Fine. And then this place. Sure. Right? Like that's every that's everywhere linked. I do indeed believe. I uh, don't love it, but it's fine. Okay, stop this, scrap that. Wonderful. And then we will need to reconnect this road, because apparently there was a, a little bit of broken road here. Don't really understand how that happened, but whatever. Okay. So at the close of play today. Things have all been reorganized, uh, and they should all be much more organized going forward. Yeah. Things should be much more organized going forward. Yeah, we lost a little bit of our momentum to the, uh, towards the end of the day, but, you know, that's fine. Mostly it seems like we're having cargo problems now. Mostly it seems like we're having cargo problems, but that should really be rectified very, very soon, I think. We've got plenty of vehicles in this uh, in this place. We should have plenty of vehicles in this place. We do indeed. Yeah. And yet we still occasionally don't have the right number of vehicles. Have some of my vehicles got stuck in some places? Is that is that what's happening here? Staying on parking. Okay, alright. Very, very strange. Alright. Well, there we go. Let's hope for a smoother operation tomorrow. I will repay this loan, though. Yep, there we go. Get that loan repaid just before the just before the evening. We have made so much money over the course of today. I mean, it doesn't really look like it because we've had our we've had our problems, but uh, I mean, we are we are on course for for greatness. Look at that! Look at that! Look at the size of that aircraft! Oh boy, the DC three. What a workhorse, eh? 1937. We're heading for 1940. Super, super duper quickly. Uh, what happens? What happens in, in 1940? Or, well, in 1939? Uh, the second, the Second World War. The Second World War happens. Uh, as a small little airbase civilian, mind you, in, uh, in Germany, uh, how would I rate my chances of, of emerging unscathed from the 1940s? Not high, uh, honestly. Not particularly... Not particularly high. I would not rate my chances at all, uh, really. I suspect... I suspect that I would, uh, I would almost certainly see some pretty... Some pretty large bombing runs on, uh, on this airport. Especially given that there's four freaking runways here. Like, this must make... This must make this airport reasonably large in terms of runway sizes and airport sizes. In 19, uh, in 1940, surely. Uh, whatever the case. 
doesn't particularly matter. I don't think that the game has got that mechanic implemented. I guess we'll, I guess we'll have to wait and see, right? I guess we will have to wait and see. Either way, hopefully we're going to be able to manage things a little bit more smoothly over the course of today. Uh, I'm going to have a little look, not necessarily in the schedule window, in the contract window. Can I refilter this? I have, okay. What have, what's happened here? What's happened? What's happened? Can I sign more, uh... You know what? Sign more, sign more, uh... Sign more airlines. Sign more airlines. I'd like the option, please. Tier. They're all tier one airlines. How do I get tier two airlines? Uh, how do I... <laughs> how do I get... <laughs> How do I get this fixed? <laughs> there we go. Okay, great. I got it. I got it fixed. Okay, so sort by average income. Average income up at the top. Holy cow. Can't sign? Why not? Why not? Not all services are available. There is no belt loader. Belt loader and trap. Oh, look at this as well, though. Okay, Pan Am? Yes, freaking please. Okay, where have you been all my life, Pan Am? All right. Let's sign a couple of those. I do want to get access to these uh, to these top tier to these top tier things. It's only two flights. It's only two flights. Okay, we'll arrive the following day. Disappointing, but fine. Right. Well, I mean that's good. Obviously, I'm delighted that we that we that we now have access to some really profitable contracts. Uh, I guess I'm just going to sign more of these things. And then I guess I'm also going to see if I can try and sign whatever it is that Royal Aviation Company is is after. So it's not all services are, are available. We need the belt loader and the trap. Okay, belt loader and trap. Let's see if we can try and uh, see if we can try and get that up and running. Why are you red? Why are you red? Don't know, don't know why, but I don't like it. Either way, we are, we are in for a big old payday tomorrow. Heck yeah. Okay, belt loader. This is the belt loader, right? This is the belt loader. And then the trap. This was the, oh, I know exactly what it is. I know exactly what that is. It is the, yeah, this is it, right? The stairway. Okay, let's research that. Let's research that. We're going to be done in six hours. Excellent. Uh, also, I got a load of signing bonuses. So let's see if we can try and parlay that into some more into some more staff members. Excellent. So that's us up to 15. We should be able to research super duper fast now. And in fact, we're just going to see if we can try and increase that every time we get the opportunity to do so. We're going to increase it right up to the max. So salaries are only 640 per day. I say only 640 per day. That's a manageable amount. A very, very manageable amount. We should be we should be in a really, really great financial position tomorrow. Genuinely super great financial position tomorrow. Excellent. Okay. So a couple of high value a couple of high value uh, bits and bobs. A couple of high value planes. Oh look at that. A Beechcraft Model 18. Alright. Sure. Some good money. Some good money being offered from a couple of these aircraft. Uh, we probably want, we probably want that, the DC-3, the DC-3 can still deal with grass ramps. I don't know why that is the case. It doesn't really make much sense to me. Uh, also, something else that I should do, it's a super easy change to make, but I could totally come up here. Polygons cannot interact. Really? Uh... Very doubt. Very big doubt. Very big doubt. Can I doubt, please? Uh, I, I'd have to destroy the tarmac ramp. I mean, that's infuriating. That's infuriating that that cannot be done. Is it possible if I perhaps go in the other direction? Maybe I... It is possible in the other direction. No? Okay, it's not possible. It's not possible. There, there, there must be a way. There must be a way.
There must be a way to make this fit. Right? And then this comes up here. Okay, it's just not gonna work, is it? It's just not gonna it's just not gonna work, because it's just offset by ever so slightly too much. Right, well that's disappointing in the extreme, but at the end of the day, that is what it is. You know, we can we can make do. Actually, hold up. There's there's a way that I can do this. I, I'm orbital freaking potato. Let's let's give this a shot. Oh, that works. Oh, that absolutely works. Oh, that doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, that's not what I was thinking of doing. I was thinking of doing this. Yeah. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay. So that works a lot better. Okay. Bring in a couple of additional aircraft. Excellent. Uh, stairway mounting. Brilliant. Okay. So where do we get where do we get the the stairway mounts? Is it is it here? It's not here. Is it in the airport? Passenger vehicles. No. Is it advanced ramp services? Ramp service with garage. Alright. Is that is that it? No. Where do we get Where do we get the stairway mounting? Is that it? I mean, maybe it just maybe it's just here to stay. Base hospitality. You'd think that it was maybe base hospitality. The first movable stairway. It does seem to intimate that it is it is over here. It's not the tractor dispatcher. Maybe it's in the passenger gate. No, it's only buses here. Hmm. How very, very peculiar. Maybe it just appears on all of the gates? No? Okay, alright. Well, absolutely zero idea where the heck that's supposed to go. Uh, if it's not in the ramp service, I, I really have no idea where it could possibly be. That is highly peculiar. Also, I know how to get rid of this now. No. Nope. There we go. We just paint it out and right click and then escape and then back into hypersonic speed. All right. Very, very weird. Anyway, tomorrow is going to be the big day. Tomorrow is the big day. If, uh, if things go well, hold up. Services, you're not able to get your services. Load cargo. Where are you linked to? Not there. Here. Yeah. Why are we not why are we not uh doing what we need to do here? I need to get one more vehicle. I can get one more vehicle. I can get one more vehicle as soon as I have the cash. There we go. Fine. Uh we might even want to get upgrade to the parking if we can. No, we can't. We could turn the boosts on, but I don't think we want to. Uh, right, so it's just this advanced cargo facility that is really letting the, the side down. So you know what? Let's unlink those. And let's link those over there. Okay, so that's a little bit of a better, a little bit of a better balance, I think. Should mean that we're able to get the resources out uh, ever so slightly quicker. Ooh, this is two very, very, two very, very good aircraft, which I will happily, happily, happily have land at my airports. Okay, we're getting to, we're getting to bigger stuff. We're getting to bigger stuff, which is, which is good. Uh, yeah, aero snacks. No luggage pickup zone. I don't think. Cleaning service. Jet airline maintenance service. Flight dispatcher. I don't. I don't know how to get I don't know how to get the other services that uh, that everyone is after. Electric powered pumps, automated fuel station. Hmm. I have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Hose and pump cleanup. Sorting zones. Luggage handling. Boarding assistance. No, I have no idea how we get the additional services. Like, we're able to unlock... I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's had an idea. He's only gone and had a bloody idea. There's no belt loader, there is no trap. So that's still locked. That is still locked. I suspect that it's something that we can get at an, at an airport. I suspect that once we've unlocked that bit of tech, maybe, just maybe... 
maybe just maybe we will uh, we will advance the years and therefore get a slightly better airport. That's kind of what I'm I'm thinking. This is the belt loader. This is what we need, right? This is what we need. I think this is what we need. Yeah. Sure. All right. So let's get the belt loader. Let's get the belt loader. Let's get the advanced passenger service stuff. Let's get it all. Maybe we'll see if we can try and sign some new contracts if we get offered any better contracts. Uh, yep. I'll take. I'll take the cash, thanks. These are pretty big aircraft now, so very, very nice indeed. All right, but all things considered, all things considered, we're doing okay. Douglas DC-3, here's perhaps the issue. You're waiting for boarding and you're waiting for fueling. Oh my lordy, look at this. It's $2,000. Oh my goodness gracious me. Uh, here's the issue, is that I think that we need better vehicles to load up on time. I don't know how much, I don't know how much stuff, I don't know how much stuff, uh, oh, look at that. Yeah, I don't know how much stuff we have, but holy cow. Also, tarmac ramp. Ah, oh, portable stairway, portable stairway, portable stairway. He's done it, he's done it, he's done it, he's done it, he's done it. He's done it. Okay, here's what I think that we want to do. Here's what I think that we want to do. I think we want to get a portable stairway pretty much everywhere. I don't know why we need two portable stairways everywhere, but, like, sure. They're dirt cheap. We can maybe only get them at tarmac ramps. Yeah, okay, so we can only get them at tarmac ramps. That's the, that's the issue. That is the issue. All right, the good news is, though, is that we've got it. We got it. There we go. Yeah, we're not exactly covering ourselves in, uh, in glory at the moment. I probably should... I probably should build, like, new infrastructure for brand new massive aircraft. You know, I mean, tomorrow's... Tomorrow's Pan Am aircraft will... I mean, they'll land wherever. They'll land wherever, right? But the air... The aircraft that we're shooting for now... Oh, we have more? Nice. Throw these in. Cool. All right, so the airline that we're that we're shooting to try and recruit, the airline that we're tr shooting to try and recruit, the contract window, these ones. Aha! Hosting service. We have that. Belt loader is all that we require. Anyway, let's see. Let's see if we can try and prep. Let's see if we can try and prep this tarmac pad to have the portable stairways and the belt loaders. And then we will also see if we can try and get a bespoke... Man, eh, maybe not a bespoke, uh, a bespoke fueling service, because I think that this fueling service is probably... No path. Ah, okay, yeah, we'll fix that. Uh, yeah, I don't think that we'll need a bespoke fueling service, but we'll probably need a bespoke cargo service, and maybe even a bespoke airport? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Let's connect up the... Let's connect up the, the two ramps over here. Now, this, presumably, is not going to work. Who saw that one coming, eh? Who the heck saw that one coming? So we're going to have to come right out the side here. Come down there. Kind of hate that. Kind of hate that, but, I mean, if it needs to be done, then it needs to be done. Uh, the fueling service. Large barrel stock. Let's get that linked up there and there. Cool. Didn't get your stuff on time. Boost is on. Boost is on. And to be honest, we do need to start getting much better vehicles. Like, better vehicles pretty much everywhere. Yeah, I mean, how many... You're asking for 35 bits of cargo. So 35 bits of cargo, right? 35 bits of cargo. Just to put that in perspective. That's two of these trucks. That's two of these trucks. These trucks can only deal with... Oh, wow. We can't even buy the old uh, the old type of truck. They can only deal with 20 bits of cargo at a time. Whereas these, these new bits... Willys, WT, and Force Dollies. Yeah, okay. I think that we want to try and get... Uh... There we go. Some brand new... Some brand new... Some brand new those. Yeah, nice. And we're gonna need to get them pretty much everywhere. There we go. Excellent. And then as soon as we have five grand again, we'll, we'll get the new ones. Cool. Actually, pretty happy with that. Actually, pretty happy with that. How much do these sell for? 
I don't even know how much they sell for. Might not have enough to do it before uh, before tomorrow. I will accept that one last aircraft because it is going to give us a thousand dollars. Very very nice indeed. But tomorrow is the big day. Tomorrow is the big day. It's not quite jetliners, but we're not far off. We're not very far off at all. And certainly we are in the land of big profits. And as a as a gamer, that excites me. Right, sell all of those. Fine. Is that everything upgraded? That's everything upgraded. Okay, so this is the best of the best. This is the best of the best. We need to get one, one additional truck over here, right? One additional truck over here. Fine. And then, and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, it's probably my bad for selling all of the, the trucks and whatnot, but, you know, that's fine. A couple of delays, perhaps. Also, interestingly, looking at the amount of, uh, looking at the amount of cargo that we have in store, actually pretty good to see that we're finally using it. Okay, there's a thousand bucks in, in the sending of this aircraft off. There's a lot of money in that one. All right, a very, very, a very, very good day, actually. A very, very, very surprisingly good day. Not bad, even slightly. The only thing that is continuing to, uh, to irritate me is the fact that we... There we go, need to paint that out manually. And then escape, escape, and then back into supersonic speed. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. We are equipped... We just need to wait until we get the belt loader up and running. Belt loader or bust? That's what I always say. All right. You know what? I'm going to get one, two, three additional ramps. And then let's get tarmac taxiway. Yep. And then we'll come right out here. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow. We'll do that tomorrow. We'll do that tomorrow. We'll finish the we'll finish the construction over here. Skip forward to the morning, and we will of course pay an obscene amount of money. Airlift, wonderful. Okay, so can we buy this here as well? We totally can. We totally totally can. Not enough parking space. Ah, okay. So we don't need we don't need two stairways, but we do need one stairway and one belt loader. Right. So first thing in the morning, let's get that all let's get that all fixed, shall we? Uh, flight dispatcher radars. Let's do that. We're, we're almost done with that anyway. We're gonna be done in three hours apparently, which is, I mean, marvelous, frankly. Honestly, we lost a little bit of money yesterday, but that was with building a whole bunch of additional ramps. That was with buying a whole bunch of brand new trucks. We completed another bit of research over the course of the evening. That is excellent. We are literally just about to the next, uh, the next stage. Jet engine maintenance. I mean, what do I need in order to get that? I think we're, we're pretty freaking close, so... Let's throw all of our points into getting jet airline maintenance up and running because heck yes, heck 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 yes. Little bits, little bit yikesy, little bit yikesy money wise over the course of the evening, but that's fine. Ramp service with uh, garage. I mean, it might honestly be worth us getting rid of this ramp service here. Yeah, link to link to all. Link to all available ramps. But we can't do that presumably until we get a until we get a better truck, a Packard D1. I mean that's what I'm. I'm not even using the. That's the wrong building. I'm not even using the Packard D1 over here, which is a you know maybe something that we should consider doing uh, in the future, but not necessarily a problem for now. Anyway, today's the big day. Today's the big day. Let's see what the heck happens, shall we? Let's see what the heckity heck happens. We gotta wait for our delivery of fuel. It's gonna top us right back up to, to max. Maybe we're overspending a little bit on that because we don't have enough fuel space. But, you know, we're gonna need all of the fuel that we can get. So, frankly, uh, if we spend even an extra couple of, couple of grand uh, on, on wasted fuel, I, I think I'm actually okay with that because there is so much money to be made. There is so much money to be made today. Okay, so we should have some of these really, really, really big aircraft landing. As if to demonstrate a point. Uh, are these Pan Am? I don't, I don't think they're Pan Am that are, that are coming in. They are PN. What's PN? That is Pan Am. I was right. It, I was right. Okay, so we got a couple of Pan Am flights arriving. Is it a big aircraft, or is it just... What is it? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, you're Sabina... 
your Orville Air. Fine. It's gonna be coming. It's gonna be coming. Is that it there? Sabina. Sabina. Where the heck's my, my Pan Am? Where the where the heck is the is the Pan Am flight? It should be it should be here. PN twelve. Alrighty, uh, no idea what's happening. That's another Sabina. I guess this is part of the problem having. Oh, excellent research is done. I guess this is part of the problem having uh. Having all of these aircraft landing at the exact same time. Not exactly ideal. You could, uh, you could say. Uh, don't care about any of those flights there. Are you a Pan Am? Are you a Pan Am? No. Ain't got no Pan Ams. Alright. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You snuck in under the radar, didn't you? Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, look at this beauty. Okay, we got to make sure that the best of the best service is uh, is afforded to this aircraft here. Is there another one anywhere? There's not another one. But look at the size of it. I can't believe that we're actually still using grass pads, to be honest. That's highly embarrassing. Uh, no workers there for boarding, but it's okay. We've just done the, the, uh, the unloading. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get it uh, turned around. It's only been down for 16 minutes, though, so... That ain't too bad. Noontide of propellers. Propeller planes of all types and sizes. Many mail and freight flights. Many passenger flights. Large four-engine liners. Intercontinental flights. Nice. Okay. That's brilliant. That's really, really good. After flight check. How long do we have for turnaround? We've got a, an hour turnaround, I think. It's not very long. Fueling is, is occurring. Wowzers fueling is taking a long, long time. I don't even think that we're going to be able to... To fuel it. Waiting for performer performing. Okay. Also, that's an obscene amount of money. Thank you very much. I'll take a five grand Pan Am. Look at the length of time that it takes. Okay. So this is... We're gonna... Yeah. It's late now. It's a bit of a problem. That means that the penalties are gonna... Are gonna start skyrocketing. Uh, fueling is... Is just... I mean, this is just embarrassing, frankly. This is just embarrassing. How much fuel does this thing need? It needs a lot of fuel. Okay, so this is really this is really kicked uh, kicked my backside into high gear here. This is embarrassing. This is this is really really embarrassing. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna fail this as well. We're gonna fail this too. Uh, it's only been here for 13 minutes, but yeah. Okay, so now the penalties are gonna start to stack up. The penalties are very very much gonna start to stack up. For some obscene reason, we're also not able to... What do we got? Ah, uh, yes. We need a... We got a better tower available. Uh, yeah. For some obscene reason... For some obscene reason, we're, we're not able to service our other aircraft. Uh, we got another DC-3 that's just arrived. Very, very terrified of the prospect that I maybe have bitten off significantly more than I can chew. Why are we not able to do these? Boarding is just a is just a, a no. What the heck is happening here? Let's go to the passenger gate. Waiting at ramp. Uh, why is this a problem? Why is this a problem? I think we need more terminals. I think we need more terminals or bigger buses. We need something. We need something because something ain't jamming. Something ain't gelling. Something ain't jamming. It's just not working. Also, yeah, fuel trucks. I need better fuel trucks. Okay, here's here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I mean, to be honest, I have better fuel trucks. I just need to actually start freaking using them. Okay. Pump fueling. So we have the Sterling F6. Let's get the Diamond T1. How long is that going to take? Three hours? Okay. So by tomorrow, we'll have a, a much better service. I mean, we have had a terrible day. But if I can just send one of these aircraft on their way, then we'll get five grand. Which is really nice. Really, really nice. Yeah, but having one singular... Having one singular... 
having one singular large barrel stock for the entirety of the area is just not good enough. I mean, it's like four trips. It's like four trips to fill up this this plane with petrol. It's been on the ground there for four hours. Oh, that's that's not good. That's not good. But it looks like maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get it away fairly soon. That's another huge, monstrous aircraft. Uh, there was another one that I just missed there. But look, we'll we'll get the opportunity to get more huge, monstrous aircraft very, very soon. Uh, surprisingly, we're we're actually making money, though. We're actually making money. We're actually making money. So, passenger... Passenger aircraft. Passenger aircraft. Uh, or passenger transport, I should say. Very, very important. Also, the fuel trucks. The fuel trucks are also very, very important, too. Right, so if we sort those two things, then I think that we'll be in a great place. That's my... That's my analysis of this absolutely terrible situation. Did not get the required services on time. The required services are just so numerous. They're so numerous and they're so large. Right, let's finish up with this research and then uh, and then let's get this all uh, let's get this all shipped away. It's literally fueling. It's literally fueling. I mean, I don't even know how many passengers are actually required because you can't see when you hover over, which is uh, which is a little bit. A little bit irritating, but can we maybe see here? Uh, we cannot. We cannot. Uh, also, I should sell one of those and get one of those. Yeah, so I should be buying. I should be buying one belt loader and one stairway on each and every stand here. So we really want. We really want all of our tarmac our tarmac ramps to be capable of doing all of the advanced functionality, catering with all of the latest and the greatest aircraft. And that's currently what I'm what I'm trying to do. I mean I know that I said I only I only really needed I only really needed these aircraft to be able to, uh, these uh, these stands to be able to do all that, but uh, I want them all to be able to do it. I'm I'm hungry. I'm hungry to try and get as many Oh, these actually cost quite a lot of cash. They cost quite a lot of cash. But the good news is, is that it's going to speed up everything. Uh, we finished the latest fuel truck. Cool. Airflow. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's let's do it. We're going to be able to, in eight hours, get, uh, get that up and running as well. So that's pretty good. Yeah, we just have... It just doesn't do... It just doesn't do it fast enough. It doesn't do it fast enough, and that's the problem. Passengers, we did, we were able to do in two in two bus loads. Okay, so if we get a slightly upgraded bus, we'll be we'll be fine. At least for the DC threes, that's good to note. It's very very good to note. Very 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 good to note. I mean, we're still okay for smaller aircraft. We're still okay for smaller aircraft. I mean, it serves me right for for using these these terrible grass pads. I presume that there is a negative a negative modifier. I presume it's better and easier and quicker to unload, uh, to unload on the the bigger tarmac ramps. I've got to imagine that's the case. Cool. All right, I should get rid of this as well, but I just can't be bothered. Right now, this is probably the moment where I need to start thinking very carefully about where I send my aircraft. We don't want to renew any contracts that have small aircraft landing on large ramps. Not at all. Right. Let's finish this out. Also, is that daily maintenance? Is that daily maintenance that I'm paying? Oh my goodness, that's obscene. Well, the good news is that it's going to help disembarking and embarking much, much quicker. But, uh, but it's also going to cost a significant amount of money. Okay, I'm not going to take any. I'm not going to take any of these aircraft. They're all garbage as far as I'm concerned. Right, so passenger transport, fuel transport. Are we... We're getting the better... We're getting the better fuel transport. This is a good... Yeah. This is a good uh, a good type of bus, right? A good type of bus. Is there a better... Is there a better type of bus? The right omnibus. We should probably get that as well. Yeah, let's get the right omnibus. But can we get Where do we where do we stick the passenger cars? Where do we stick those passenger cars? I don't even know. I don't even know where we stick those passenger cars to be honest. Right. 
However, unloading and loading should be much, much quicker over here. Certainly in terms of in terms of baggage and in terms of cargo, we are good. We have these we have these dollies. Yeah, we have these dollies. That is really, really good. The stair lift, we apparently are not using. Staying on parking. Not sure why. But yeah, we're close. We're close to making this whole shebang actually work. As long as we don't use these terrible grass ramps for the bigger aircraft, I think we'll probably be fine. I think we will probably be fine. Uh, we also don't need to necessarily use the tarmac runway for takeoffs. Doesn't need to happen, to be honest. Does not need to happen at all. Right, so staff is my largest expense at the moment. Let's get the let's get the super advanced uh, fuel bus, and then let's upgrade all of our fuel things. Yes, nice. Okay, and then I was going to get the passenger bus in passenger services, the right omnibus S six, and then we'll get the sour the sourer C one. Cool. We should even finish this before the evening is up. Excellent. Good stuff. We are paying so much money in staffing costs. It's really obscene. Right, nine hours, 11 minutes. That's the... That's when we're gonna upgrade all of our buses. Good stuff. We've got a refueling operation coming along. Probably gonna need to see if we can try and get some additional... Some additional additional units early in the morning. There we go. 6 a.m. Let's get, uh, let's get 200 units. News air transporting. Smith delivery. Let's get 500 units. 500 units every morning at 6 a.m. Yeah. Okay, so that'll only take effect tomorrow, but undoubtedly we will need it. Also, probably worth me getting a delivery right now of... 50 units? Sure. I guess I'll do it. Alright, so. Where's the Pan Am flight? Where's the Pan Am flight? It should be... It should be arriving imminently. There we go. It's huge. You can't miss it. You can't flip and miss it. It is absolutely ginormous. Okay. Luggage loading, as I've already said, is fine. I think we're, we're absolutely okay for luggage. Uh, let me... I can't even I can't even repaint this out whilst we uh, whilst we don't have the cash, but that's okay. We'll have the cash in a bit. Decline all of those aircraft because they're all they're all garbage. Decline that one as well. Fine. Okay. Fuel, 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 fuel. We can fix this. We can fix this. That flight is late. Of course, we knew it would be late. We absolutely categorically knew it would be late. Right. Large barrel stock. Is it possible for me to upgrade this right now? Not possible unless I take out a loan. You know what I'm going to do? I can take out a $20,000 loan. Okay, that's excellent. Uh, with that, we'll use it to repay that loan. And this loan's fine. Uh, but yeah, okay. So the higher rate interest loan has been repaid. That's excellent. Let's upgrade the parking slots to the max. This is still large barrel stock. Why is this, uh... Why is that not working? Why is that not working? Do we need a better... Do we need a better facility? A hand pump? I guess we need the hand pump in order to make... In order to make it work. Okay, link with everything. And then we get the best type of buses. Now we're talking. Okay, 1,400 bucks a piece. That's a significant chunk of change. Okay. Don't think that I really want to do... Any more of those. Uh, but yeah, the hand pump is, is fine. I mean, in an ideal world, maybe I want to keep the... The small trucks working on the grass... The grass pumps? Oh, yes, 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 please. That was a big aircraft, by the way. That was a big five grand aircraft. Okay, luggage, I think we're fine for. Luggage... Yeah, luggage we're fine for. So let's see, yeah, let's see these brand new... These brand new trucks. See if they make a difference. There's... There's very few of them. 
that's the the problematic aspect of this there's very very few of them and we can't we can't even get we can't even get more trucks in here it just takes ages actually yeah it's taking a real long time hmm I mean we can get one more loading at hand pump number one I I don't think the hand pump is I don't think the hand pump is the way forward, to be honest. I think that we need to get better tech here as well. Okay, so after we get the bus, after we get the bus, we will get the electric powered pumps. Yeah, okay. After we get the bus, let's get the electric powered pumps. And then that's going to make all the difference. Probably shouldn't have bought the hand pump. The hand pump is, I mean, it's, it's, it's the tech that we've got at the moment, right? Here's the thing, though. I actually legitimately think it's quicker for us to just use the old... The old barrel stocks. Even if we have to do multiple runs to the to the bigger aircraft. Still means that we're going to be in a better position, I think. Right, so priority is get the bus sorted. Buy better buses for the, for the terminal building. Then we get the electric powered pumps. Which should mean that we're able to fill up the trucks super duper quickly. Because unironically, that is literally all of the problem right now. I thought the problem was loading the fuel onto the aircraft, but that's only the problem with the older type of, you know, uh, type of vehicles. Uh, yep, sure, I'll take you. Look at that, 2,000 units of fuel. That's so much fuel. You know what? And yet, I'm still taking them. I'm still taking them. If we can, if we can do it, then we can do it. I think we can do it. I think we absolutely can do it. Okay. So, buses, buses, buses. Good stuff. We did the buses. Okay, so let's get those buses upgraded right now. Electric powered pumps. Let's do that too. Five hours it says it's going to take. I don't think it's going to take five hours. Well, actually, I do think it's going to take five hours. I take it back. It's going to take five hours. Right. You, you, let's go in here. We can now buy, oh, the very best. The very best of the very best. And in fact, if we want to, we can also take out another loan in order to ensure that we get the very best of the very best. That's seven out of eight buses. I mean, we just need a little bit more cash in order to get the eighth bus, which we got, so we bought. Excellent. So it should take no more than one single journey to load people up. There we go. Excellent. These right omnibuses are despawning. Passenger gate. It's not possible for me to get an additional passenger gate, unfortunately. Also, this shows that... I think that this is... Uh, I, think that, I don't think this is fuel units. I think it's passenger units but uh but that's just a guess okay so at the close of play today where are we we're in a good a good financial position it's 1942 apparently we're just completely oblivious to the state of the world at this point which is fine i need to reconnect this let's actually do this right now so that i just don't brush it off any longer there we go Right. So that's done. Excellent. Uh, might take out another loan. Might take out another loan if we get finished with electric powered pumps by the end of today. Otherwise, probably not interested in, uh, in taking out another loan at this moment in time. Let's get the taxiway connected up. So that means that we are now capable of receiving a whole bunch of additional aircraft over here, if indeed we want to, which I don't think that we want to do. Loans got repaid uh, in the middle of the day for some, for some reason. Don't understand why, but that's okay. Okay, boarding. Boarding shouldn't be a problem. Boarding should not be a problem. Yeah. So the issue is there is that I'm letting people walk into the aircraft. I need to get them onto the to the stair to the stair lift things. That's what I need to do. Okay, contract windows. Let's sign a whole bunch of additional contracts. Let's actually shoot for two hour turnarounds. I mean, at the moment, I'm seemingly incapable of dealing with anything uh, in a quicker fashion than that. So let's sign all of these and then let's oops no, no no we don't want to break that we do not want to break that sign them all sign them all wonderful then we hop into scheduling window hop into scheduling window that gives me exactly 10 aircraft to work with now don't want grass ramps just want concrete ramps right so this is going to be from tomorrow onwards uh all of these need to be turned to schedule mode 
There we go. Also, it says that they don't have buses at the moment. Not all services. Let's immediately fix that, shall we? Before we, before we head on much further. There we go. Passenger gates. Yes, I know it's flickering. Don't like it. Right, air mechanics. Uh, is the mechanics okay? In fact, you know what? Let's not do this. Let's not do this at all. Let's get the ramp with service. We'll buy some new vehicles. There we go. Buy three of the finest vehicles. We don't need to upgrade the parking slots because all that we're really going to be doing is... What? No path to building. Uh, beg to differ. Beg to differ strongly. Sincerely beg to differ. Sincerely, sincerely, sincerely beg to differ. There is, there is most certainly a connection there. There is, there is definitely a connection. Alright, well I guess we're doing, I guess we're doing these then? Fine. Uh, can we get the can we get the vehicles upgraded? Packard D1. What do we got at the moment? We just got garbage at the moment. You know what? Fine. Don't even worry about it. Servicing is servicing is okay. I can I can prioritize servicing slightly slightly differently if needs be, but let's not worry about it too much for now. Luggage and passengers. Luggage and passengers. But we do have luggage and passengers. Eh, it should all be linked. Alright, I guess we'll do that. Sure. And these are the best, aren't they? I think they are. I do indeed think that they are. Okay, well, let's see if that makes any difference now. Uh... Luggage hosting, passenger hosting. Absolutely no idea why that's why that's working. Uh, we can at least get wrong place. Ah, also catering. We need catering. Let's let's do the catering. I mean, I don't even know where the heck is my catering place. Hand pump. Ramp service with garage. Can't link to all available ramps. The arrow kitchen. That is the arrow kitchen. There we go. Fine. It's just one. It's one decrepit vehicle. There we go. Okay. Maybe, you know, maybe catering was another problem. Maybe catering was another problem. Okay. Is it part of the problem that I haven't let the game on pause? Yes. Good, 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 good. Okay, this works, this works, this works. That's excellent. Alrighty. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, all of the services are fully working. We'll arrive the next day. I mean, this is going to completely overwhelm us. I'm almost certain that this is going to completely overwhelm us. That's only 10 aircraft, but they are big aircraft. They are big beefy, unforgiving aircraft that we will be penalized expensively if we if we don't make it work. Uh, cargo, yeah, cargo management. Cargo management has picked up substantially. 500 units. Let's get 500 units. Uh, evening time, sure. And then let me also buy a bunch right now. I'll buy some instantly. Yep, too much money. Far too much money is what I'm paying for that. Far, 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 far too much money. The good news is, though, is that we're going to do it, and we're going to get through the day in a fairly in a fairly good place, actually. What are we working on right now? Electric power pumps. Oh, yeah. Fueling, fueling, fueling. That is what we're going to... That is what we're going to get done by the, by the end of the day. Right. Electric powered pumps. Wonderful. How much does that cost me? Three and a bit grand? Uh, let's... Let's go back. Let's turn this hand pump off. Let's destroy it. 
There we go. And then let's take out a, another massive loan. That's right, 27%. That's, that's pretty acceptable, actually. Two lanes fuel pump. Is that the... Is that the right one? I think that's the one. Two lanes fuel pump. Can we stick that back where it was? No, apparently not. All right, fine. Throw that down in there. We'll buy the best trucks that we can. Only two. Nice, 12. Now we're talking. I'm going to take out another loan. That's how important this is to me. All right, so that's the max. That's the max. That's the best. Link to all available. Link to all available pumps. You, large barrel stock, will stop. And I want you to unlink all ramps. And then I want you to link all ramps. Of course we can't because it's not connected. Whoops. My bad, my bad, my bad. Road. Excellent. Link to all available ramps. Okay, so that is going to speed things up tremendously. So not only is that the best pumps that we have access to. But it still pumps slowly. Flipping egg. It still pumps slowly, but they take 5,000 units now, so they've got su they're super large trucks, actually. Right. We got rid of- we got rid of that, uh, that old one. We got rid of that old pump. That's fine. I do think that this is gonna make a dramatic difference, actually. Yeah, I think this is- this is what we were waiting for. This is what we were waiting for. And reject all of those. Reject all of those. We don't need any. Uh, we got the best buses as well. We got the best buses. We got the best pumps. We've got the best trucks. Jet engine maintenance? Sure. We'll get jet engine maintenance. How long is that going to take? A while. That's not a problem. All right. That was actually a really, really good day. Tomorrow is going to be, you know, the proper stress test, really. It's going to be the real stress test. 25 grand, we'll get that repaid so we don't have to pay any more interest on that. Sure, even though we do go slightly, slightly into negative cash flow, that ain't too bad. Okay, all right, at the close of play today, didn't quite get to the jet age, but we are so tantalizingly close, and everything is working in such a fashion that I'm actually very, very happy with it. We've reallocated all of the services. We are getting access to some of the biggest and the best planes of the day. Uh, we're able to, well, not consistently turn them around, but, you know, make sure that they that they are all, uh, that they're all working and they're being serviced, albeit not in quite as quick as a, a, a time fashion as, as I would like and perhaps they would like. Anyway, folks, we're gonna wrap this episode up. Thank you ever so much for watching. Check out the Patreon if indeed you're uh, interested in helping make videos like this possible. Thanks to Banana Nana, C Senpai, and Aurelio for being three $25 plus tier patrons. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.